Good morning. Today is Sunday, September the 28th. Happy fall. This is the first video I've done since the fall. Today I'm going to be cooking a chuck roast. This is how the work look, roast looks. There's a little fat here. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to cut it off. But all I'm going to do for this roast is I'm going to take some pieces of garlic and place it in those openings there and it's just going to add flavor to it. My hands are clean. This roast has been washed and I patted it somewhat dry. And I'm pa placing the garlic in the little holes right there. And that's just going to add some flavor to the roast. Also, I'm going to add the rest of the garlic. It's just one whole garlic that I use. I'm going to also add onions in the pot. Bell pepper. For seasonings, I'm going to sprinkle on some garlic powder. Onion powder. I did not season the other side, and I really should have, and I think I will. I'm just going to flip it over, and I won't lose that garlic, and also black pepper. I'm going to, okay, I did go ahead and flip it. Okay, here on this side, I'm going to add my favorite Cajun season, which is the Tony Sachery. My favorite. I'm going to repeat with the garlic powder, onion powder, and the black pepper. And I will flip this back over. Now I'm prepping this for church. Now what I'll use when I come back to make the um, the gravy. I'm going to use this beef broth that I actually got from Albertsons, and this is a 32-ounce, two-pound box that I actually got for 99 cents on sale. So look for the sales and buy it and put it up. And this box is actually good to uh, February 2015. Okay, so I've added these seasonings to it. And the last thing I'm going to place on this roast before placing it in the oven. And now what you can do is wrap this all in heavy aluminum foil. But I find when you do that, when you get ready to make your gravy, you've actually lost some of your drippings and everything in that aluminum foil. So I opted to keep that out. Now all you do is place a Lipton onion soup packet over it. And this is going to produce your gravy. Now I am only going to use one. Since this roast is small, but if you have a big roast, a big family roast, you may want to go ahead and use both. Now, the reason I didn't put the toady sachet on both sides is because this is already salty. So, just that little on the other side would be fine because this won't be, you know, on there. But that, that's how I found to do it. If you don't want to use it at all, if you don't like a lot of salt, don't use any salt at all. Just use your other favorite flavor, your other seasonings. And so now we'll just sprinkle the lifted onion soup on there. And you place this on in the oven on 350 for about two to three hours. The second hour is when I normally come in and I add my beef broth, a little Worcestershire salt, and then after that I come back and season it, you know, taste to season. And then let it go for that next hour. And sometimes it cooks. It just depends on the cut of the roast you use. It may not even take as long. You just have to check it. Okay. So I'll show you the finished product. This is going to go in the oven on 350 while I'm at church. And then when I get back, I'll come back and show you. 